What is going on YouTube? On today's video, we are gonna be taking apart this beast and we're gonna be transferring all the parts onto the Corsair 4000D uh, air cool um, new case. So uh, I believe this is gonna be a little bit of an upgrade because uh, this, although this case is it's fantastic, it's, 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 it's awesome, it doesn't have USB-C uh, in the front and this one does. So there's a lot of videos out there that doesn't show you how to take a computer apart just in case you so need to. And uh, we're gonna be doing that today. So stay tuned. And uh, to put everything together on this computer, on, on this case, um, we are gonna be doing another video just to put everything back inside this case. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we are gonna go ahead started and removing all the parts, all the panels out of this computer. Stay tuned. All right guys, so we're gonna start by removing all the panels out of the case. And um, this one, for some reason, um, doesn't have cat tip thumb screws, so they do come off. So make sure you don't lose them, just in case you want to resell the case. Let's put that on the side for now. Let's remove the back of it as well. So you're removing four thumb screws out of the case. So we're gonna, matter of fact, we're gonna open our iFixit kit. And put the screws there. As you can see, this computer, um, although it has uh, outdated specs, um, I'm gonna give you some of the hardware that's actually in here. This is a 1080 Ti, it has a 2700 XT. I'm sorry, a 2700 X, eight core, 16 threads, uh, 64 gigs of RAM, so not bad. These are Neo um, RGB, uh, 3200 speed, I believe. And uh, it has a uh, 12 terabyte of storage and uh, a one terabyte of SSD N.2 uh, inside. So we're gonna be taking all these, part, all these parts uh, out of the case. And uh, we need to clean them because as you can see, it's, it's kind of dusty. And um, you know, see if we can um, refresh this uh, look. For, uh, for this build. All right, so let's, let's, let's start by removing all the panels. So I just wanna show you guys the uh, mess uh, that's in the back of the case. So that's what it looks like back here. We are gonna be removing every single one of these wires um, and taking everything out of the case. And um, we're gonna start by removing anything that's uh, in here that we particularly don't really need. All right, so we are going to go ahead and uh, get started in unscrewing the front portion of the case. All right guys, so we are gonna start by removing the graphics card. So you have to unscrew the screws over here. Be sure to save all these screws because you're going to need them later right on. Um, we want to remove the power connectors. And uh, by doing so, we're just going to gently lift the graphics card. That's it. That's how it comes out. As you can see, it's barely clean. Um, doesn't have any sign of wear and tear at all. I'm gonna put this on the side for now. All right, so we have these two wires removed already. Um, one of the easiest thing that this uh, particular case does, it's, um, it's swappable hard drive. So we're gonna remove one of the hard drives right now. There we go. One hard drive removed. Just put it on the side for now. Let's do the other one. Okay, so that's out. Now what we're gonna do is uh, remove all these wires and we're gonna take the motherboard out along with 
the uh, cooler because we're not going to remove the cooler. We, we're going to keep the same cooler. So let's unplug the 24 pin. Once you have, set it on the side for now. Remove the CPU power adapt power. That's out. All right, so we remove pretty much the 24 pin. Let's remove the front panel connectors. Okay, that's out. The USB connectors and the audio cable and the front connectors for the USB. Um, there's also a few more um, cables down here, which is the uh, fan headers for the uh, Be Quiet cooler. This one's gonna come all, all together only one piece all right let's um, unscrew the motherboard out of the case you gotta be nine screws that you're gonna remove so make sure you put them on the side uh, do not lose them All right, now that we remove all the screws, we can just take the motherboard out. Oh, sorry, we left one screw on down here. All right, once you remove all the screws, you can take the motherboard out. Just be real gentle, make sure that you uh, Taking everything out. So that is it for the motherboard. Nothing else that we need to do in here. We're gonna remove all these nice fans that we have in here. So we're gonna remove all of this, all these wires, and then I'm done. So, I have to remove all of this. Be careful when you cut in this, do not cut any of your wires. That would be a bad thing. Okay. Get rid of this. This is just. In this case, you don't necessarily need them, but I thought it looked cool if you had some um, red color wires and stuff. So, yeah.
So these are the um, extension cables that we just removed from here. I don't know if I'm gonna reuse them again, but I'm just gonna keep them on the side just for now. Might as well unplug all this stuff out of here. supply okay we are going to remove the uh, power supply right now so with the power supply you need to do is remove the screws right here this is a bad idea because when I remove all the screws um, the power supply is going to drop so I'm not going to hold it on the side Slides out just like that. Stick it all out. All right, now we have a almost an empty shell. But first, we need to take the uh, commander tray out. It's very simple. These little clips, just press them, they come off. These are your fan connectors. You can plug up to six fans on the commander note, just so you know. All right. So the wires that are in here are for the LEDs and fans. That's what this are for. So I'm gonna remove these fans out of here. So that's out. Let's uh, peel this off out of here. It has to be glued onto it, so it is like this. We're gonna have to reuse. Uh, this for a new case, so don't throw that away. Got all the connectors for the case. Yep, we got all the connectors for the case. Don't need this. All gonna stay here. Now that we remove all the hardware that belongs in this case, now we can start removing the fans mm -hmm. out of here. Once you get those screws out of the way, you can just take the panel out. That's how it comes off. Now that you have that panel out, you can take the front panel out as well. So just lift up and that's how it comes off. And look how filthy it is. This is like completely covered in dust. This is dust. Nasty. See that? That's all dust. Don't worry, we are gonna clean this entire case and all the fans that are inside here before we install them into our new uh, computer, a new case, sorry. So there's four screws. One on each corner. One more screw here. Make sure you hold off to the fan so it doesn't fall. Not that it will break, but you don't want to do that. So just set it on the side for now. Uh, 
if you're wondering what size are these fans these are the 140 millimeter fans um, I will add links to every part that's in here except for the 2080 Ti because I don't think you can find that anymore I'm sorry 1080 Ti um, that's actually a um, you're not gonna find a new you can find it pre young so just a heads up So that's fan number two. We've still got three more to go. So, same thing. Just some screw. Fan number three. Okay, that's fan number four out. This one you gotta be careful because it's um, sustaining this metal bracket. That makes fan number five. Now we can actually remove all the um, magnetic strips. Uh, I thought I'd glue this one on to it. Oh well. That is it for the magnetic strips. So that is it for taking all of this apart. Now we only have an empty shell. Okay, so there you go. There's absolutely nothing in here. Okay. All right guys, so that is it for this old case. Uh, it served its purpose for four years, so but I think it's time to um, get a new case. And uh, I will be doing a new video, putting in, putting together, um, not putting together, but adding uh, all these components into a new case. Obviously, I'm still gonna have to dust them off and clean them up because they're like super dirty. So, if anybody wants this case. Uh, just let me know in the comment section below. I'm not even gonna charge anybody because obviously I don't, I don't want any money. I don't need any money for it. So um, just hit me up if you so want it. And uh, obviously I'm not gonna mail it. So 
uh, most likely you're gonna have to come pick it up to somewhere close by anyway guys until the next video stay safe be well see ya anyway guys I'm gonna show you the parts that I'm going to be uh, including into the uh, new Corsair 4000D so stay tuned